overall, Monte Carlo analysis is one of the important analysis, uh, which helps us to perform um, a analysis on a given circuit and try and test out variable, uh, various uh, scenarios that can happen in a circuit. Like for example, let us take a simple scenario of a resistor that is used. Okay, so uh, let us draw a simple circuit in that case. Okay, let us assume that we have F volts. Okay, and then let us take a simple resistor divider. Okay, this is a resistor divider circuit, uh, and uh, we have resistance R. Let us take it as 2.5k okay this also has 2.5k now straightforward we know that for these given resistors uh, for these given resistors the voltage that is uh, that will be dogged at this node that means center of these resistors is 2.5 straight away right mm, now these resistors are not stable, correct? These resistors uh, vary <coughs> over a uh, period, um, over temperature, okay? Or uh, basically, these resistors have something called tolerance rating. That means if this, uh, let us assume we select a resistor which is having a 10% tolerance, uh, so, it can vary between 2.5k plus or minus 10%. That's how uh, we see uh, the resistance variation, right? So, Monte Carlo analysis helps us to evaluate these scenarios and um, see the outcome of this circuit. That means the voltage that is rolled across need across all these scenarios. Okay, LT spice. Um, to have a, a inbuilt Monte Carlo function, basically, which actually is MC, okay, and then value, comma, we can consider as variation, simple thing, okay. So, this is a, a simple uh, Monte Carlo inbuilt function. Now, let us uh, try to apply this Monte Carlo and see how it behaves. So before this, uh, let us try to um, run this. And for running, we have uh, to do transient analysis. Let us do a sweep. Okay. Uh, let us put it as DC sweep, the name as DC. And we'll do a linear sweep starting from value of 1 uh, till a value of 5 with an increment of 0.1 okay so what we are basically doing here is uh, okay so what basically we are doing here is we are doing a dc analysis of this uh, supply okay now when we run this source dc is not from okay so let us just try to see this is voltage v1 okay so this basically is V1 and if we try to run, okay, so if we do probe at the center of these resistors, you can see here, uh, we have started at 1. If you see this particular uh, um, DC sweep, we are doing a linear sweep uh, by starting at value of voltage 1 and stopping at voltage of 5 with an increment of 0 0.1 volt. So, um, for every increment, the voltage uh, that is dog across these resistors is increasing, right? So, this is a DC sweep of a voltage source V1. Now, let us see how to perform um, the Monte Carlo analysis. Uh, of with a particular resistor value tolerance. So we have this resistor, right? So which is 2.5K, right? So to, instead of 2.5K, we can have MC, okay? And uh, which, which will be in curly braces and uh, which 
And then let us uh, take uh, 10 percent tolerance. Okay, 10 percent is nothing but uh, the point, right? So actually, we have to enclose this with the uh, normal and treat this entire uh, Monte Carlo function as an input to this. Okay, so you can see this is a Monte Carlo function which is applied uh, to a 2.5 k resistor with a 10% tolerance. Now, what uh, we have to do is, uh, uh, so this itself will not perform um, the analysis, right? So 2.5 k, uh, whether we have to take negative or positive, uh, so that we have to define another directive which is called step parameter here basically is r2 okay and we will be starting with one and we'll be having 50 values 50 values meant with the 10 percent tolerance to the lower to the higher level we'll have 50 values in between with an increment of one and so this is the directive uh, we are going to define here okay or let us put it here Okay. Now, this is the directive that is defined and when you run this now, okay, you can see um, the analysis uh, which is here. Uh, if we try to zoom in a little on this value, you can see a voltage of 3.84 okay, or what we can do basically is uh, uh, we can zoom in at 5 volts because we should get 2.5 here, right? To understand it very clearly. Okay. When we do this, you can see this is uh, uh, 5 volts and um, we should have 2.5. But because of this resistor tolerance, if you consider this, it is varying between um, around 2.35 and 2.6 something like this. Right? So, in reality, what does this mean to a circuit design engineer? In reality, when you are having um, a <coughs> circuit like this, okay, so, uh, and uh, you, you are not aware what uh, uh, this tolerance is going to do into your circuit, you can do a Monte Carlo analysis um, and see how uh, the resistance variation is co is causing a node voltage. Now this is very very difficult to read, right? And even though we we projected it to uh, the uh, five volts, uh, uh, it's very hard to read these values, correct? So this we are actually clicking to do a full zoom extent. Okay. Now uh, there is a way to export these results. You can see right click on the results screen and go to file and export data as text. So now um, what we wanted is we wanted uh, the node voltage to right away. So if you name this node it would have been good but for us let us keep it and then uh, we wanted uh, the voltage uh, okay and um, the currents okay. So for now we don't need current also um, but let us try to keep it okay and say okay now this uh, if you see here just if you go back um, export data as, as text in the top you can see where it is saving you can also browse and include your uh, um, <coughs> desired folder now when we open uh, the text you can see um, one, one by fifty, okay. and then we get R two as one. So this is the first run that we have done, and then the second run for which R two is equal to two. So you can see um, these are the values of V one. V one is provided one volt, okay, and uh, node two uh, in that case is four point seven. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> okay, 
it is 0 0.1 because it's uh, 10 power minus 1 and uh, these are the currents um, which are seen so you can see the tabular values here and uh, see which value is actually fitting uh, as per your 2.5 requirement now with 5 volts okay um, and in this scenario we are never reaching uh, 2.5 was the maximum we are reaching here is a 2.3 volt uh, for a given uh, uh, resistor value okay and then if you see the second set of results uh, you can see here we are almost reaching 2.5 uh, for a given 5 volts so um, this is how we do calculate uh, with the different uh, input voltages and various resistor tolerances having different combinations and getting the output. So what it implies to a circuit design engineer is um, while selecting the resistors and if you want a accurate voltage out of this resistor divider circuit, it is very very important that you select uh, the appropriate uh, tolerances so that your voltage doesn't vary beyond expectation. If we get a glimpse of Monte Carlo analysis um, to perform a resistor divider uh, voltage, uh, voltage divider circuit uh, um, using the resistors, uh, which is <coughs> uh, a very, very um, useful analysis, right? Uh, manually to do these calculations with uh, different resistor values is very difficult. Thank you. Please post if you have any questions. If you have performed Monte Carlo analysis in any of your projects, please post your learnings here. Thank you.